What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to go through this long uh, quest. The challenge is proving uh, quest for week 4. Uh, the first step is obviously you go pick it up from the helm. And while I do that I'm just going to go over the weapons that I'm going to use to quickly go through this. Um, well, first of all the character I'm choosing is Titan. Uh, this chest piece, the Falling Star, helps do more damage when you've got Thunder Crash. It does it even more damage if you use this seasonal mod called Volatile Conduction. Um, but then you have to be critically wounded for that, which is why my light level is that low because I've got Mountain Top on. I prefer using Mountain Top um, because it doesn't one shot you. And also, just I just like using it. And otherwise, I'll probably switch to a Succession if I need to get some headshots, which I'll need to do later. And I'm just going to go over that right now. So first of all, I'll go pick up the quest from the war table. Nessus, I can skip through Europa, this. The Cosmodrome. I've seen this, this my third time, time across all three characters, so yeah, if so you see the first time, by all means, take your time. But the first tip is, is if you can read just above where it says Cabal Gold, it says need to obviously well, first of all just choose it let's go for it the then the next step their fire, the easier it'll be is to, to get cabal gold and while you're out there be sure to claim whatever you find in the aftermath weapons gold without their home system they can't resupply. now you have to do gambit and crucible public spies, events dungeons they can't resist for blind long. well nightmare hunts whatever you need to do just to get cabal gold so Again, it says public events for me. Well, it says 40 out of 42. So again, you you have to go through the activity which you need to do. Now it could be blind well uh, to make go things you know quickly if you're soloing it. But for me, again, it's just something I'm just going to pick up a public event wherever it's happening. And I'm not sure if I can make that in time, but I'll try. I didn't even notice I got 40, that's why I was quiet for a, thing when a while thinking, what? How did I get 40? It's probably because I was doing a lot of Gambit with some of my clanmates and just, you know, just must have got enough Cabal Gold. Um, don't put any Hammer Mods just yet, if you have if you have any, just because it's part of the next step anyway. And that way, if you do it now, then if you don't have any more left, then it's going to you know, obviously delay things. There's a few things while I can, you know, while we fly through, I can show you. Uh, is you need to go to later on at some point EDZ, and there's a lost sector called the Pit in Firebase Haiti, which you need to go to as well. Another public event somewhere else. I'm definitely not about this one, yes. Okay, so in terms of the steps, just to go through them, that way it prepares yourself a little bit more. Um, obviously, we all need to fly in, we all need to do activities, but again, out of these ones, I think the closest one is Nightmare Hunts. Um, the quickest ones are Nightmare Hunts if you're doing it in a team or if you're by yourself, you can jump on the blind well because it, provided other people are there. Otherwise, you can just do strikes if you just you know, go through 
um, from the playlist strike so don't go for you know go, don't go to ADZ and try to go for Lake of Shadows etc and the best thing is just to keep doing the same event again and again until you could get enough Kabar gold um, yeah so you can if you have a team speed things up a lot more actually you can also use this to power up if you have enough phantasmal fragments even like a from the flag just show you this you that for whatever purposes this is, this is a great place to practice your uh, shotgun hot swapping just about this area there as soon as you cross this little ramp over to the right and I can just get up there and you can practice your other way stuff you and just keep going back to that and get to the valley down here. So basically what I'm going to do is most of the time just get that go critical then you can see you can get bottle eye conductor active and you pop your super. So let's say that. Okay, while we wait, I'm just gonna go over some of the mods that I have so far that's gonna help me speed through stuff. So, on the helmet, I've got double sword ammo finders, um, I've got one sword scavenger, loosen blade, and the uh, taking charge mod that helps me, you know, get the loosen blade active. And I've got the warmind build, I've got fire team medic, which, you know, gives you a health bump when you destroy a warmind cell. Uh, Wrath of Rasputin, uh, if you, let's say, if I get, um, Solar kills with Lament, for example, or any rocket launcher with solar, like uh, Code Dweller, for example. And the final blows, the, the splash damage will actually generate uh, Warmind cells, so that's why Wrath of Rasputin is really useful. Rage of the Warmind, it basically is one of my favorite ones because it adds additional solar damage to the explosions of Warmind cells you destroy, so it basically does more damage to ads, which is great. And then you've got Oh, I don't have that yet, but I mean, I haven't put it on, but the other one is uh, Global Reach. I can probably replace this with Global Reach. That just basically, it has a more area of effect and it damages targets at a greater distance, so it kills more ads or further away. Um, if you need to survive a lot, then obviously you go for the Fire Team Medic, but um, it's not a flawless run or anything like that, so it's all good. And um, again, it depends what your activity is. Since I'm doing that I might as well go for let me pick one of these and just change things around a little bit because it's a public event so what I'm gonna do is remove these bring that to five and pick this one public defender so increase loot from the building wasp just fell out of the sky whatever intel it contains belongs with us Defended Guardian. Again, we're just gonna speed through the other one if I can. I don't have to, you know, get this to um, what do you call it? Here we can probably keep it.
would have helped the Use it. The next step says the battlegrounds playlist. So just go to the destinations. And, uh, let's pick up the chest. All right. Go to the vanguard battlegrounds launch. And it says you've got barrier and unstoppable champions. Uh, oh, it says barrier on the way. Barrier, and it's pretty much it. Unstoppable, well, pulse rifle. Just gonna transfer pulse rifle over. Sometimes I guess if you don't 
need to use mountain top to sort of critical damage yourself then you can always just let the enemies hurt you enough and then that should help you get there battlegrounds again <sighs> just go for the max which is 6 for xp yep. keep checking on what things you need to finish off like for example this week it was uh, 10 champions and grenades so if you have let's say put on, if you can always put on an exotic which gives you, you know, two charges the scions are already deep in the vex network and it looks like they have imperial backup you can catch them if you hustle lucky for you amanda holiday runs a door-to-door -door service i've dropped you close to the entry point and, lucky for me, she also has a sense of humor, which is refreshing after working with Saladin. That's a pretty low bar to clear, but I'll take the compliment. If you dodge just before falling off, you can actually survive with respect. These guys track. 
Keep drilling down. You'll hit gold soon enough. We're picking up big energy spikes below your feet. Odds are good, but that's where their commander is.
nice to not hear sword fly sometimes, but with long time to show the big boss what you got. So fly almost. You know how to get their attention. said this isn't the first time the science have tried like to mingle with the Vex. Were you around for that holiday? I was in the tower at the time, but I wasn't so really So let's have a look at the so steps progressing. So we are at step four. I just feel like, oh my god, that's so long, right? But I think after I did it the first time, the second time around I got the hang of it and fell to this other character that, okay, I could probably speed it up a little bit longer, you know, more. One thing to do is uh, probably to have a gr rocket launcher as well, because um, there are times where you can progress. You can progress faster where the rocket launcher kills, um, so I can just get ready. Put a rocket launcher. For that. Okay, so Crow is downstairs. Again, I'm just going to skip the dialogue. Listen. I've been combing through the prediction you pulled from Nessus. Accepted. We got bad news. Next step is. I think the, the Cabal pit, are going to try to take no, Zavala no. out. Okay, Europa. You have He's to get missing from every single one of the futures they Asterian predicted. Abyss. Not missing. Where'd he go? Missing. Dead. Which is around this area. So just keep. Osiris says there are only market, possibilities, but I think it's the real launch deal. Launch even ruins. Zavala has refused to work with Kaido. Good time to just dismantle things you don't need. This is where we are, the three vexes. I don't even have ammo for our effect. Let's pick up some ammo. <coughs> so, to get these guys, a headshot. Uh, this one. This two. 
to uh, just to help things I'll just click that so that it shows up here hit your directory and you can see 2 out of 15 follow your uh, the scanner talking about, talk about the radar to see where the enemies are so you can skip that one. I'm not that good at sniping, so I just take my time. So that's actually interesting. So basically if you get rocket launcher kills, they count as precision because that explosion hits them everywhere, including the crit spot. Okay. Yeah, that definitely helps. Huh. That's even easier. If you don't like sniping, that's what you can do. How cool is that just to figure it out during a video? Okay, so 12 out of 15, we need 3 more.
DZ, Firebase, Hades, the pit loss sector. And so just go to destinations. And to be honest, I haven't been there for such a long time. I had to sort of you know, find out what's the best way to get there. So that's the pit. Basically, if you click on it, it doesn't tell you, oh, this is the nearest marker, but obviously it's sort of obvious. But you know, anyway, basically you land, land there and then always just make sure you go along the right. If you go on the right, then under the tunnel you will see the pit. Uh, that's the best way I can explain and that's where I felt that was the easiest way for me to get there. Again I'm not m much for directions and it just takes me a little, you know, I have to repeat and play the same thing again and again until I sort of memorize it. It takes me a long time like Presage for example when I did the solo flawless. I uh, spent a good number of hours to sort of get used to the roots before I got sort of got it memorized. So yeah, it just takes time. Just keep on doing the same thing and again. There's certain and after this lost sector, the next one that they ask you to do is Skydog 4. So I just go there and then again hang towards the right and then go inside. Alright, so basically the first thing you just literally just do a 180, just turn around and drop down away. And get a sparrow. So I don't really have to do that. That's exactly. If you just turn around and drop down this highway, and, uh, and just make sure you just go around the right side. This is Firebase Hades. Okay, so we're on the right track. Again, just go along all the way. Ignore the enemies. Let's see if other people are going there as well. And basically, you can double check that. The pit. And 
one thing it will tell you there, if you hover over that quest step, says... Oh, actually, it, this one doesn't say anything about rocket launcher. So, yeah, so it doesn't matter how you get the kills. Um, best thing is for any loss of transmission, just go straight for the boss. not the lo next lost sector this is where you have to go to Legion's anchor in the ADZ and rocket launchers grenade launchers or grenade abilities grants the most efficient progress so grenades and rocket launchers that's the combination I used uh, again just picking up put on another grenade launcher just for good measure if you want that way you got all three covered so that's the exit lights just follow through to the exit And when you're exiting the lost sector, you can turn right or turn left, doesn't matter, you just have to get up on the ramp um, to Legion's, uh, where that area is. Legion's Basically, just actually is a place where you do your. Um, <sighs> there was a the night one. The strike. Shut them down. This is the place. So let me see what could be. If you 
because this that's the door right there. Oh, dumb. I was trying to get into these doors. It's actually this one. Yeah, dumb. Let's go through and go up. Okay, you have to go forward and then go up. I was there like, oh, where do I go? Why is it strapped? No, no, no. Let's go up. Oh, that's pretty much it. Legion's anchor. that way you can just follow the public event area and along the lines is where Skydock 4 Lost Sector is. That's pretty much it, because right now it says steps ten of eleven. So you visit the crow that's step ten, and then step eleven would be just go to the go to the war uh, war table, and that be step eleven. And that's pretty much it. I'll probably end the video here, but I'll just you know go through the entire steps you can see. This is a long one compared to the other t last three weeks. I can go over obviously the remaining weekly bounties if you want. Can go down steps cross over here. Not Thanks to your field sure. work, I have an idea of what the scions are planning. You can skip. It's not except good. this gadget you found. War table it's a visited. Really, can't even find my way up.
upgrade. Can't even finish the step because I have to at least decrypt one in Umbrella and Grammar. Yeah, I don't want to waste it like that. Just go ahead and focus it. I tried to use this one because I got a season of the chosen armor weapon. That's gonna give me some re reputation, but oh well. But that's pretty much it. Um, guess I've used everything up so far. Yeah, so that's really all you need to do. If you go check your quest again, you should see that challenge proving is no longer there, and that means you've done it. I can just obviously carry on going through all the other stuff that you need to do for the season.